Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the studio. It won't surprise you that I'm a big fan of Gold Top, having owned a pair of their gloves for quite some time now. I personally have the Cafe Racer. I have a few reviews coming out soon. The Viceroy is the one actually we have in the studio in this review, but we have the Bobber, we have the Cafe Racer as I've mentioned, and we have the Predator. Probably the closest to the Viceroy is the Predator, but obviously slightly different style. The long and the short of it though is that if you're looking for leather motorcycle gloves, Gold Top are an obvious choice to look at. They've got that heritage behind them, they've got that quality when it comes to their leather. They use aniline cowhide leather on their gloves. In this version, it is one millimeter thick. It's really soft, really comfortable. It doesn't really require any breaking in and it's got a great solid color to it that will only get better over time. It will start to get its own character the longer you own it. The Viceroy is CE approved. It comes in three different colorways, either brown, black, or wax tan, and it is 64 pounds 99. It's a shorter glove, it has a shorter cuff on it, that might make it easier to fit with whatever jacket you might be wearing. And they have a decent amount of armour and protection actually, more than some of their lines at least. So you have knuckle armour on this, it is floating knuckle armour and you have protection at your palm. As I mentioned they use one millimetre thick aniline cowhide leather. They use five thread cotton stitching throughout for durability and toughness. Uh, they have some nice little accents and details and some venting on the back as well for airflow to allow some air through to your fingers on those warmer rides. You have a Velcro strap and a little Gold Top logo on there. That's the only Gold Top logo you will see on these. The knuckle armor, as I mentioned, it is more comfortable than some. It has some flexibility to it at least. And that is hugely thanks to the fact that it is floating knuckle armor. So when you clench your hand, obviously it lifts at the back there, but the armor still remains where it needs to be. And of course, as I mentioned, you also have scaphoid protection. And on the inside, for your comfort, they have a liner, but not quite as thick as some of their other lines, i.e. the Cafe Racer or the Bobber, which are fully fleece lined. These have a silk liner to the back of your hand, obviously the area of your hand that is more exposed to the elements. On the palm, you don't have a liner, making them slightly lighter weight. When it comes to their fit, they aren't restrictive at all. Nice and comfortable on. Being such a soft and supple leather, that is going to stretch over time. So the longer you own it, it will form more to your hand. Using the size guide on our website, it will tell me the size slightly large, closer to the fit of the Gold Top Bobber. So for a medium, you'd be looking at an eight and a half. Follow the links in the description if you want to check out these gloves for yourself. If you want to see the rest of Gold Top's range, I'll drop links in the description for those as well. Leave your questions and comments down below like you do normally, and I will see you soon for more of the world's finest riding gear. Bye-bye.